I'm going to show you a few browser extensions that you can use to block trackers, particularly from media sites and politicians. So the first one I'm going to show is Ultrablock. Uh, this is only available for Chrome users. I'm in Chrome now. Uh, I'm on Google.com. I'm going to search for Ultrablock and I'm on the website now. So this shows you what it can do, protects your privacy, blocks advertisers, takes control of trackers and removes third party cookies. You can, you can see who's tracking you as you go on each website. So I'm going to add this to Chrome. And this should take us to our extension page. And here we are. Uh, this little panel here, this is what should show on each website. When you click on the extension, it will tell you what it's blocking. So if we add this to Chrome, add extension, and we now have that uh, extension in our navigation bar with that little shield symbol. So let's show you how this works. Let's head to BBC, BBC News website. and we'll click on our extension for Ultrablock. So that little icon there. As you can see, the extension is showing five trackers being blocked already. And there we go, there's your little panel. It shows you what it's blocking. Three analytics, two unknown. So it's already blocking those three analytics. We could block the unknown ones as well. So it's showing you what trackers are connected with that website as soon as you're on the page and it blocks them. It makes the page load quicker and improves your privacy. So let's try another example, a political party's website. We'll head over to the Conservative Party. Uh, they are currently in government in the UK right now. So here's the website on Google. And here we are. There's good old Boris. So let's look at our Ultrablock extension now. And as we can see, a whopping 18 trackers. Wow. And it's blocking two advertising trackers, one social. And we've got options to block lots more essentials, unknown. So these are 18 third party services on this polit political website, probably trying to find everything that we do online. So. When you go on these sort of websites, it's probably a good idea to use one of these extensions and block all of this. I don't really want political parties knowing what I do and where I go online. Next, we are going to try out the Ghostry extension. Uh, this time I'm in Firefox. Firefox is my browser of choice. I think it gives a lot of better privacy options than other browsers. But it is available for Chrome as well and some of the other popular browsers out there. So we're going to head to Ghostry from Google. As you can see, it intercepts and blocks trackers. Uh, if we scroll down, have a look here. Blocks ads, stops trackers and speeds up websites. So essentially it does the same as what Ultrablock does. But it's available for more browsers, not just Chrome. So we're going to go and add that to our navigation. Uh, in Firefox, we go to the navigation menu pane, uh, click on add-ons, and in the find more add-ons search bar, let's type in Ghostry, and that should show up in our list on the uh, Mozilla website, there it is, privacy ad blocker, and we're going to add that to Firefox. Click on add, and there you can see the little symbol there, the little ghost, and that's our extension, Ghostry. It's taking us to the uh, protection plan. I think for most, just the free will do. Um, you've got these paid versions. The premium version uh, comes with a VPN. So if you need a VPN, I usually use uh, another VPN for that. So really, for most, I think the free version will do. So let's try an example of this. I think we'll try a few media sites. Um, 
newspaper sites, tabloids. So we'll try the Guardian. <clears throat> so that, that is a uh, newspaper in the UK. And we'll see what sort of trackers we get on that. It will indicate on the, uh, the little icon there what it's tracking, how many trackers it's blocking. So you can see one, two, three trackers as the page is loading for the Guardian. Let's have a look at the little pane now, the window. Uh, not so much information on it, just saying trackers blocked one, request modified two. There is a detail view tab there, so that might give you a bit more information. But essentially it's doing the same thing as what Ultrablock does. Uh, I think we shall try another example. Uh, so if we head to The Sun, The Sun is a tabloid in the UK and I'm sure this will have a lot of uh, trackers on it. So let's see as this loads up. 4, 8 already. It's not even loaded yet. 10, 11, still not stopped. So lots of trackers with this website. Again, the sun is a tabloid media page. So it's blocked 3, request modified 4. Uh, and again, that's that's blocked a lot of trackers for us. 